Hello everyone. I'm Bill Leimonen and uh, at first I just wanted to say uh, it's been great to see all the interest in GraphQL at the conference this year. We had many great talks about it and lots of questions at the QA session. So what I want to talk about is a GraphQL backend as a service, which is uh, a project we've been working on almost uh, as we started working on it as almost as soon as uh, GraphQL was uh, first uh, announced at ReactCon last year. It's called ReIndex. So what it gives you is a service that lets you build serverless GraphQL applications without having to write any server-side code or manage your own servers, deploy or monitor them. And I'm going to show quickly how this works. So you need to uh, just de declare your schema, which uh, is uh, not exactly the same as the GraphQL schema, but it operates at the higher level. So it's uh, uh, more like your, your data model. So, you, so this uh, uh, example is uh, from, from a uh, example chat application uh, that I'm building. The schema only includes the types and the fields you have. And, and then we can uh, push this schema to reindex. And it creates uh, storage in the cloud database for the, for the data and creates a GraphQL API automatically from the data model. And then we can start querying the, the GraphQL server that was just uh, deployed for us. And it supports all the things like uh, uh, filtering the data, sorting it, and also uh, all the collections are automatically uh, paginated with the, with the relay compatible pagination. And we also have uh, uh, the mutations, and uh, this way you can you can edit the da data in your index. And uh, then you might uh, uh, ask about how do you prevent anyone from uh, uh, messing up with the data. So that's why we also have a built-in uh, authorization and authentication. And the authorization is uh, built with permissions, which uh, are declared declaratively in the in the reindex schema. So here is, for example, a message type from the schema. It has a sender field, which is a user, and it also has a channel, which is a reference to uh, the channel the message was sent in. And then we can use this data uh, to declaratively say that uh, we want to give the sender of that message, a permission to create, read, and update that message. And we do this by uh, just defining the name of the field uh, and the permissions granted to that uh, user referenced by that field. And then the, uh, and, but then this can also be a longer path of fields. So here we, say, we can also say that we want to take all the members of the channel uh, that the message was posted in and then grant them read permissions to this message. So this is a, quite a powerful uh, way to express uh, permissions and different kinds of permission models without uh, having to write uh, any uh, imperative code to check those uh, permissions. And uh, there are multiple clients and libraries that you can use Reindex with. Uh, there's Relay that works very nicely with React and React Native. Uh, we heard uh, from Martin about Apollo Client, and there's also Cache, which is another uh, Redux uh, client. And then there's also Loka, which is a, a GraphQL uh, 
client that's very uh, simple without lots of other features. So you have all the data stories on the server, GraphQL API, authentication, authorization. But how do you uh, uh, add uh, actions that send emails or push notifications or compute stuff on the server since you're not writing server-side code? Uh, that, the answer to that is hooks, which are web hooks that let you call any uh, third-party services uh, like AWS Lambda or uh, Webtask IO as a result of uh, mutations. And you could also uh, use this to create the uh, event-based subscriptions, uh, which today work with Relay. Uh, and so this would work by uh, pushing to a uh, service like Pusher in the uh, post-mutation hook and then subscribing to this channel and the client and updating the relay store when there's a payload from that. So you could do, do simple real-time stuff uh, by using, uh, using tools like this. Uh, I really encourage you to take a look at Reindex. You can sign up for free at reindex.io. Uh, it's a very fast way to get uh, started with GraphQL. So if you want to play with GraphQL or Relay or Apollo, uh, it's, it can be a good way to, to get started if you don't have a GraphQL server yet. <laughs>